virtual trade. Using this, Java has changed the trading game forever. This is the Java's biggest update and why I'm saying that, let's find out in this video. So in traditional Java, when we create a thread, it blocks some memory, what we call the stack memory. Now, if you're gonna create 100 threads, each 100 thread will have their own stack memory, which might go till one MB. And all this memory will be blocked upfront. Doesn't matter if in these threads are going to use this memory or not. And that's why the traditional threads or the platform threads are costly to create. And they are heavyweight in nature. And that's why you cannot create so many of these platform threads or traditional Java threads. Let's try to prove that with an example and let's just see how virtual threads are different. Let's create a platform thread. I'm gonna do thread.offplatform and I'm gonna do stat. Now the thread that I'll be creating, I'm gonna give a task that is just to print hello. So if I'm gonna run this program, this is going to print hello on my console. Now let's create 10,000 platform threads by using a for loop. Now this loop is going to run for 10,000 times and we'll be creating 10,000 threads, which are just doing some simple work, which is just printing hello to the console. Now let's introduce a blocking operation, which is going to block each thread for 10 seconds. I'm gonna activate the multi-line and I'm gonna introduce a little bit of waiting time. Now let's run this program, which is going to create 10,000 threads. As you can see, we already have an error that's called out of memory error. So it is just saying unable to create native thread, possibly out of memory or resource limit risk. That means because of this blocking operation, at a time, 10,000 threads cannot live in my machine. Now let's bring in the game changer, the virtual thread with a simple tweak by changing this off platform to off virtual, we are done creating the virtual threads right now, and we will create it for 10,000 times. Let's run this and let's just figure out whether we'll be able to create 10,000 threads on this machine. And as you can see right now, I do not have any memory error, and I'm done creating all 10,000 threads without having any issues. Just like this, you can also create 1 million virtual thread without any issue in any machine. So here is the conclusion. Virtual threads are lightweight in nature and they do not block memory up front. They are like simple Java objects which stays inside the Java heap memory and they do not have their own stack memory. But the virtual thread actually signs whenever you're performing any blocking operations like the sleep that we did over here. But the question is why? Let me know your thoughts in the comments or check my long format videos on the virtual thread.